chilling grill. I will first mention that it's been remodeled since I was there last, which was probably a year and a half, maybe two years ago, maybe longer, I'm not sure. It was a while ago. And they used to have this big charcoal pit and it was kind of outside, it was next to the restaurant, but there was a seating area, it was covered, and it smelled, it smelled great, and they had things on, on the grill, like ribs and wings, and uh, it was pretty neat. Well, that's gone. They completely removed that. They have an inside kitchen. Things have changed up. I will tell you this. When I had the burger last time, going by memory, and my feelings when I left, I would have given that burger a four. Okay, so here we are with the blue cheeseburger. Okay, we have to check this thing out. We don't need that knife. Let's see what we have. Lettuce, tomato, portobello mushroom, blue cheese under there with some caramelized onions. Looks pretty good. I got a little warning sign here. Bread's a little crunchy on the top. But the bottom is pretty thick. I'm a little worried about that, but we're going to find out. So here we are. We're at Chilling Grill. No clip of the outside. That's okay. Let's start with the bun. The bun was an utter disaster. That bun fell apart like it was been in the Sahara Desert for a while. And just it, when you saw me touching it, you could see it was cracking. When you actually picked that up, it disintegrated. I cut a slice off, and I, that's the picture here. I cut a slice off, and that, and that bread was just falling apart. As I tried to eat that hamburger, it was coming off in chunks. It, it, was, it, was a, it was a mess. Against my better judgment, I ordered a blue cheese and bacon. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, but recently, there's been some good import blue cheeses, and I can go to Super Maxi and buy a Danish blue cheese. It's, mmm, it's yummy. And so I get good blue cheese for a while. I guess it kind of slipped my mind, so I said, yeah, give me a blue cheese bacon. It's my favorite hamburger. So they bring me a blue cheese bacon. And I pick it up, and it's falling apart, and I bite into it. And it had the nastiest taste. That blue cheese was disgusting. It was exactly the way it was when I decided not to eat blue cheese in Ecuador anymore until they started importing it. It was, it was horrible. The meat. The meat was falling apart like the bread. It had a lot of dry filler in it. There was no egg as a binder, which I don't want anyway. I mean, I, if I want a meatloaf, I'll order a meatloaf. But they didn't even put an egg in it as a binder, and so you've just got these dry components with this meat and it's just it's just disintegrating it's just falling apart i also ordered it medium and i got it part of it was medium rare which i like my steaks but i don't like my hamburger that way i got it, part of it medium rare the other part was just red it was just raw um, it had no seasoning to tell about if you took a piece of the burger meat and and bit into it it had a slight off taste but absolutely no seasoning. It was bland as bland could be. So here's my score on it. I gave it a one. It was disgusting. And the only reason it got a one was because when they brought it, it looked nice. So I gave it a one for appearance. Looked good. Was not good. Do not recommend it. And to further mention, to further mention, Adriana got costillas, rib, barbecued ribs. I know we're doing hamburgers, but I thought they should bring up on her rib. It looked great, but it is chewy like a rubber band. 
it was not cooked. It was cooked just enough to take the pink out of it, but it was not slow cooked. It needs another two hours of slow cooking, and it would be good. But um, this is just plain cooking ignorance. The only thing there that I liked was the guitig, the agua con gas, the carbonated water. And that didn't come from there. So, chill and grill. You suck, man. You gotta fix it. It was it's worse than before. You destroyed the place and it was marginal at best before. It was a place you might return because it has some interesting things about it. And it has a great menu. But you suck, man. You can't cook. You don't know what you're doing. You know you're cool.